Before we hear Grace and then receive dinner, we will now welcome the annual address from the owner and chairman of Mansfield Town Football Club, Mr. John Radford, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to the 1861 suite for tonight's annual awards dinner. First of all, thank you to Mansfield Sam for sponsoring tonight's event, the most prestigious night of the in the club's calendar. My appreciation is extended to seven other local companies who are sponsoring awards for this season's key achievers. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm filled with gratitude. My first appreciation is firstly for every single member of staff in this room. The list of names is too long to mention. Instead, I thought I'd better show you a short video of them all. And here they are. <coughs> to the club this past season. My feeling of gratitude is extended fully to the management and players. Your hard work has pushed us so close, so very close, to achieving a place in the playoffs. If I cast my mind back to mid-November, the thought of me now standing here on this podium and talking about us narrowly missing out on the playoffs would have been an unlikely prospect. But our on-field progress is largely thanks to one man, the manager of Mansfield Town Football Club, Steve Evans. <laughs> Along with improving the fortunes of the team, Steve has revitalised life at the One Horse Stadium. With his infectious personality, his passion for the game, and his limitless will to succeed. He has made match days much more interesting, even though sometimes I find myself watching the dugouts more, more than the match. Thank you, Steve, and all of your staff. Where there is unity, there is victory. And we are unified behind you next, heading into next Stephen. season, Stephen. <laughs> you will have my full backing as we set towards our work on one clear and primary goal, promotion. That will be our priority next season and we will leave no stone unturned 
as we embark on our journey to fulfil the dreams of a town and its people. It It may be easy to forget, ladies and gentlemen, how far the club has come in such a short space of time. The crowds are increasing. The one call stadium has never looked or felt as good. Our media and public relations is at an all-time high. Our community department is flourishing and our commercial activities are thriving. The one call stadium is now a hive of activity every single day. We are, again, the hub of the community a pillar of Mansfield. One of my great joys this season was to see our youth team regain the league title. And I congratulate John Dempster, his staff and players. We are pro and progressing, and with a sincere heart, I can say that I feel a sense of overwhelming privilege and pride of being the club's chairman. I may have many businesses, but I will always be honoured to carry out the role of owner of the Stags, a title that means more to me than any other. Of course, I may be the benefactor, but I'm simply the custodian, the fans of the lifeblood. The club was here long before me, and with the foundations which are now in place, it should be here long after me. I've always said that the best way to predict the future is to create it, and that is what we are doing here, step by step, day by day. The club is growing bigger, better, and stronger in every area. We have achieved much during my six years, my six and a half years at the club. And I'm pleased with my accomplishments during that time, both professionally and personally. I have to say that during that time, my most brilliant achievement was my ability to persuade my wife to marry me. Yeah. <laughs> Carolyn, thank you for helping the me guide the club in the right direction. You are a fantastic CEO, and this club could not be as progressive without you. To my fellow directors, thank you for assisting and helping us move the club forward. You are the rocks of the club. To our sponsors and commercial partners, I thank you, and we are proud to be associated with each and every one of you. The best I've saved till last. Our supporters have been through some tough times in years gone by. But while adversity causes some to break, it causes others to break through. And how we have broken through as a club. We have, we have stronger than ever than we have ever been in recent memory. We have good, talented people in the right position at the football club. And running through the club's arteries are the best football supporters in the country. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I'll finish with this. Though the new season it now seems a long way off, it will be before us within the blink of an eye. And during the next campaign, there will be obstacles, there will be doubters, there will be mistakes. But with discipline and desire, there are no limits to what we can ultimately achieve. We will win together. We will lose together. We will fight together. After all, we are Mansfield Town. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, John Manfield. Chairman of Mansfield Town for What a fantastic address.